Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to my shop. I am going to hopefully, let me get the light back up here again, finish out my walking stick. And what I've done is I have put grooves in it and down here and then some lines. But I also am cleaning out the grooves again and then going in with a different with color uh, that one happens to be red right now uh, I took it in showed it to the wife and she said she really liked it so I'm gonna use I think green <coughs> <coughs> excuse me um, and I think a, a purple black and maybe a yellow to uh, finish all of them out. Most of that is kind of more of the Native American colors that uh, you see them use in beadwork and stuff. And uh, But anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to get the, the camera set up and then I'm going to start cleaning these grooves out. I don't know if I'm going to sit here and make you watch me clean them all out but uh we'll see we'll see so let me get the camera set up and we'll be right back Hi, I got that all done. Uh, now I'm uh, getting everything set to uh, clean up a little bit more. But I got these. I'm using the King Art for for the the colors, and, and there's just there's just so many of them. The greens and yellows and purples and blues. Uh, I mean, they're they're and they're wonderful. They're wonderful. They they. they color wood so so well uh, and I'm no painter so <laughs> anyway let me uh, get everything cleaned up here so I can use these things and uh, we'll get back at you I am so sorry I got into this coloring so much I forgot to turn the camera on but um, this is all new to me Never done anything like this before. I might, though, I'm going to say I might have to retract my words. These things do do real nice, but I think uh, an actual paint and a paint brush would be, would be better. But uh, these are doing, doing pretty good for right now. As long as I can... 
get them done here. I see things that I, I have to do on other ones that I, I didn't do on this one, of course. And that's um, a little bit finer sandpaper and in the grooves itself. They're pretty rough. I thought they were going to be just exceptionally smooth, but they're not. So. Not bad, but they're not like I like I wanted them. And if you ask my wife, she will tell you I am a perfectionist. I hate not being able to do it as my mind sees it. Flip her over here so I can get the other edge. Definitely will check into regular oil paints or acrylics or whatever. My mother was the was the painter and she was awesome. She had done some work for Ducks Unlimited years back. But I didn't get her talent. Nope, nope, nope. Did not. <laughs> Flip her around one more time here. Hope everybody's bearing with me okay.
of course, I got several coats of polyurethane that's going to go over top of this. The whole thing, the colors and well. Everybody thinks this is as good as it looks. I don't know. Maybe some sissy colors there. I don't know. But uh, I kind of like it for the first time and kind of an experiment. And it's on my stick. I think I kind of like it. I hope. Let me get up here. Get this one off. And. Uh, colors slide you forward here the colors are pretty neat I don't know we'll see we'll see what it looks like once the once the polyurethane gets onto it you set it up here and let it dry for an hour or so and, and I'll put the first coat of polyurethane on it well here I am I shot back working on my my stick um, I decided to put the lariat on mine it uh, makes it just a little easier to run a camera you don't have to find a place to park your stick up on a tree or hold it up to you here you just let it dangle on your arm but anyway um, I didn't film it I'll tell you I had so much trouble getting that hole drilled through there and it was not a nice hole i have two types of wood bits uh, and they're not cheap and i i could hardly drill a hole through and, and this is aspen this is soft so i i don't know what was going on but it just a uh, horrible hole horrible hole but anyway what i'm going to do now is i am going to put brass tacks above these um, colored rings here um, I was gonna do something else but uh, I, I think I like the brass tacks just just something with a little uh, glit I guess glimmer um, little pizzazz as my wife would say but anyway I'm gonna turn the camera off and I get it to where I'm uh, gonna measure it measure these all around uh, mark it all it, it, it's a little time consuming but um, I think it's well worth it and it's the only way I could find that was um, easiest for me anyway to to mark it out and I use painters tape wrap it around give the diameter or the circumference I should say not the diameter the circumference of the stick and divide that up as many times as I feel that it would look good to have um, the brass tacks around here and then I mark it out on the painters tape and then I I actually have a center punch that I use and that's this and it's the spring-loaded one it's the one you can they actually use for the fire department uses to knock out windows and stuff in cars but it's a spring-loaded self tapping you just push down on it bang it makes a mark so that's what i use for that so let me get the camera set back around and and i will measure start measuring these out for you and we'll get it all set and uh, drill the holes drip, pull this off drill the holes uh, put the tacks in and it should be done then i hopefully it'll be done so get you back in a little bit okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you it's about a four inch circumference so what I do first off I just took one of my old tape measures that broke the end off and I took and I snapped off a chunk about eight inches long whatever it is and I made sure that the one end was exactly on the one inch or the inch mark so that way I could 
go around this and figure out how many inches it is. This was four and um, just a hair over. So I know that I can start out, put it around, and I can start at the one inch mark, go to the half inch, the one inch mark again. A half inch and then I can go back around on your on the last mark I put in line it up oops got to come down a little bit more here and I know I can go to the one inch mark the half inch and that's how I decided I can go about a half inch in between the tacks. I guess I should explain that too. Half inch. And so I've got the all the marks all the way around, half inch apart. My tacks are about a quarter quarter of an inch across the head. So I go up from the very edge of the a colored circle, three sixteenths of an inch, so I give it a little bit of uh, play from the edge, so it's not right on the edge, mark three sixteenths, all the way along, This might not be the proper way of doing it, I guess. But uh, this is the easiest way for me to do it anyway. Me and math never did get along well together. I know it good enough to get through machinist um, courses and stuff where I became a machinist. But as far as being really a, up on math, nah. I think first graders have me have me outdone with with math and stuff. Okay, I'm not gonna go through and show you every <laughs> every line I make. So I'm gonna turn the camera off, uh, get the rest of them done, and then come back.